there and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to bring you another vlog. Um, so we are up at my sister's house for a week um, for my birthday. We both took some vacation time off and so I just thought that I would film some footage throughout the week and put a little making vlog together because um, this is the first vacation I've had in quite some time um, in terms of actual time off that we're getting away. Um, I know that we went away earlier this year, but we were actually working remote when we were in South Carolina. So this is the first time that I have had a whole week off straight with nothing to do in a very long time since December, since we were in Brussels. So um, yeah, the weather is actually meant to be pretty on and off. We, if you're here in like the Northeast, like Midwest area, you know, we've been having like this crazy weird weather where it's just nonstop rain. And so while we're up here, it's actually forecasted to rain every other day. So today is Monday the 17th and we got here on Saturday late night, so like around 10 o'clock at night. Um, and then yesterday, the whole day was mainly a washout. Um, there were a little bit, uh, there was a little bit of sunshine at some point in the day, but at that point it was like too humid since it'd been raining for so much, so long. Um, today is meant to be a sunny day. However, the cats are still acclimating to the house. So I think that we're gonna stay close by and we're just gonna go into town and come back. So I'm planning on doing a lot of sewing today and tomorrow, which is definitely gonna be a washout. It's meant to rain like literally the entire day. Um, and then Wednesday is my birthday. So we actually have some fun things planned and hopefully by that time the cats will be okay to be on their own. But anyway, all that to say is I'm gonna be hopping in throughout the week <laughs> to show you all everything that I'm working on. There will be some nature footage um, as usual when I'm up here, but it will be mainly like little chatty bits where I pop in and let you know what I'm doing in terms of making this week. So I wanted to uh, start it off with what I actually brought with me. Um, so I'll start with my knitting and then I'll show you my sewing. Um, so first up, I have, uh, two test knits that I think you're all, if you've watched the podcast recently, you're all aware that they're both due on August 6th, so very soon. So I brought those up. And so, um, the first test knit is for, I want to say it's the Sunkissed Stripes Shawl by, um, Tiff Nealon. And so I've literally just gotten it started. I did start it and then I was having some issues with some tightness in my slip stitches. Um, so you actually slip the first and last stitch of every round so that it gives you like that clean edge. And I was having some tension issues, so I actually restarted it. And so this is as far as I've gotten. I'm almost done with this first section. Um, and the three colors I'm using for this one are these are two leftovers that I have of Life in the Long Grass Hinterland. So if you've been here for a while, you'll recognize them from my half and half wrap. And then my main color is this Wooly Knit Cream Cone that I just finished knitting my Straya in. So still have tons of this yarn left. Um, so that's the first project. The next project I have back here in my Hohe & Co. BA bag. This is my tangent test knit, and this is the other one. Now this one I'm actually planning on finishing this week because I do want to take my FO pictures while I'm here. And so this is what it's looking like. I actually just now finished the body, so I just have to do eight rounds of ribbing for the hem, and then it has a double knit um, edging around the armholes because this is a tank. So I will be doing that. And then hopefully my hope is that I can finish this um, by tomorrow so that I can um, block it tomorrow night and then take FO pictures on Wednesday when it's sunny because that's the last sunny day that we have here. Um, Thursday is going to be another washout and then Friday is going to be another washout, but we're actually leaving on Friday morning. Um, so that's that one. And then I brought a third one just in case, um, but I doubt that I'll get to it 
and it's in my mood bag. But I wanted to bring a third project just in case. Um, and so again, if you've been watching the podcast, you will recognize this one. And this is the Tuku by Weechin of the Petite Knitter. So I brought some yarn to work on this one as well if I'm needing to. I actually might work on this one a bit because um, with the stripes I have to pay attention. And so I think we need to get caught up on Outlander. So that'll probably be the one that I pull out while we're watching Outlander um, in the next couple of days. So those are my knitting projects. In terms of my sewing projects, um, because whenever we come up here, I like to bring all of my sewing projects already pre-cut. Oh, and here you can see my Straya and my Ranunculus that I plan on taking pictures of today. So really excited to have those. Um, but as I was saying, when I come up here, I like to bring sewing projects already cut. So that way I don't bring a lot of extra stuff. I just bring my two machines, so my serger and my sewing machine. And then um, I'll have my projects ready to go with just like, um, I have like a, this like Ikea box where I keep um, sort of my day-to-day -day notions. Um, so I just bring that with me along with my sewing projects and I have like this box that I put everything in. But um, the first one that I'm gonna finish, which is the one I'm working on today, is the Austin dress by Grainline Studio. And this is my birthday dress, so this is why I'm working on this one today. And actually, it's not the first one in the box, so I need to grab that. I should have probably not talked about that one first. Um, okay. So I'll show you, this is the bodice. I've actually finished the bodice. This is what it's looking like. And it's this um, Merchant Mills uh, linen. It's uh, the color is Louisiana. It's absolutely stunning. And so I've already finished the bodice and I've actually sewn on the um, pockets. This is what it looks like flat. I've actually sewn on the pockets onto the front panel. So now I actually just need to do the gathering on the skirt, attach the skirt to the bodice, um, then do like the armhole facings and do the buttons. And so I don't have the buttons with me. They're in my sewing box, but they're actually the same buttons that I'm using on my Straya, which are these dark wood or organic wood buttons that are absolutely stunning from Joanne that I picked up. Um, so that's the first sewing project. The second sewing project isn't going to look like much, um, so I'll insert a picture of what the pattern looks like here, but they're the Megan Nielsen Flint Pants, and so I am knitting these in a heavier weight, 100% linen, that I picked up from Joanne a long time ago, and they're this black um, linen, and I just like, because they're very textured, but it's a, it's a mid-weight linen, so it's nice and heavy, unlike my... Um, orange pair of flint pants which I'll actually put in here for you to see um and I've actually already gone and done like all my interfacing and everything so I literally just need to sew them up and then the third project is a project that I've actually had cut out for a very long time now and so again it's going to be black linen and so these are, this is the linen rayon blend, like the workhorse um, uh, fabric from Joanne. And this is going to be a pair of black Aronite pants. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love my green linen Aronite pants. So two pairs of pants and a dress and three knitting projects um, to keep me busy for the week. So I don't at all think that I'm going to finish all of this this week. Um, but I just wanted to have a little bit of something of everything so that I can, um, you know, feel satisfied. Uh, so we're already at the 10 minute mark. Oh my gosh. So I will check back in with you uh, throughout the week.
today is Tuesday the 17th, the 18th. I should know that since tomorrow's the 19th. Um, and so I thought I'd bring the update outside for today. Um, I was able to finish my dress. That dress like tried me every step of the way from cutting it to sewing it. I don't know what was going on. So, I mean, it's still a beautiful dress, but there's definitely a lot for me to nitpick. Um, I'll put in some footage if I haven't already. Um, put it in of the dress. And then I'm actually almost done with my tangent test knit. So I've just, I've finished the body. Um, and then I've finished the finishing on the one armhole. So I've picked up to do my finishing on the second armhole. So I figured I'd do that outside. Um, today is technically a washout, but it's been raining on and off. So I figured while the sun is out for a little bit, I think we're supposed to get sun for about two hours. Um, I would come out here, finish this up, and then once it starts ra starts raining again, I'm going to head back inside and I'm going to work on my Aeronite pants today. Um, I did manage to get some pictures of my dress this morning before the sun was too high um, on the pond here on the property. And then the other pictures I want to take of the Straya and the Ranunculus really need to be done like during like golden hour. Um, and that's just not going to happen today. So those will happen um, probably tomorrow since I didn't get around to it yesterday. And then at some point, I also want to like film a little birthday um, surprise video, which uh, you may have already seen by the time this goes up. Um, but if you haven't, definitely give that a watch. I'm going to have a little bit of a giveaway. And it's just a good old fashioned Q&A. So um that's the update for today. So one out of six projects done and hopefully two um, so that I can block this and take pictures of this as well. Um, and then I'm thinking if I can block and take pictures of this, we're going out to a fancy dinner. I brought like my, um, my light colored linen pants. I think that that'll be a really nice sophisticated look for dinner tomorrow night. Um, so I'm just gonna sit and knit for a little bit and uh, I will catch you up when I catch you up. <laughs> I'll probably um, sit down again tomorrow and then I'll include some footage of me doing things throughout the day again. See you later.
Okay, so it is Thursday the 20th, um, and I think that this is going to be the last little update that I bring you on for this vlog, and then we'll see what other footage I put in. Um, but essentially, I didn't record yesterday because it was my birthday, July 19th, and um, you may have seen already that I posted a little uh, fun Q&A, and I do have a giveaway going on, so be sure to take a look at that video um, if you want to enter in the giveaway. But um, last I left you on Tuesday, I was just, I had finished the dress, and I was just finishing up the tangent. And since then, I have finished the tangent, I have finished my Aronite pants, um, and then I've been working on my tuku um, as a reward for finishing the tangent today. Um, so yeah, I finished the tangent, I blocked it, um, and it is ready to go. So I finished it and blocked it yesterday? No on Tuesday, late Tuesday. So it was fully dry yesterday. And then I'll be taking pictures of that when I'm at home because I have a very specific way I want to style it. Um, and then, um, but we did manage to get a bunch of pictures. So I will be putting them in throughout. I'm just pulling up my phone um, so that I can tell you the different pictures that we took. Um, I managed to get pictures of the Austin dress that I made. I got pictures of the ranunculus, which was one of my um, items that I brought up to take pictures up of, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I also got some pictures of my Aronite pants. They weren't the greatest because it was quite sunny, so I think I'm going to have to retake some pictures, but I will insert those for you as well. And then, of course, my Straya pictures. I took some pictures of some other, like another dress that I had finished um, that I'd never taken pictures of. And then I have tons and tons of footage. But I wanted to show you my uh, tangent, which is right back here. And so this is what it looks like finished. Let's see here. Here we go. And so it is uh, slightly cropped, but... Um, I have to do my final measurements and all of that because the the garment did grow a bit um so it is still slightly cropped but i intend on wearing it with my um high-waisted linen trousers when i'm in the office and then all of my high-waisted linen pants or whatever um when i'm in a more casual setting there you can see chrissy in the background and I don't think I showed you all the actual Straya last time. But this is what it looks like here. And these are the buttons that I chose for it. So I'll also um, insert those pictures here so that you all can see them. Um, so let me close here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, put those back behind me. There is Chrissy in the background. And I'm not sure, um, I don't remember how much progress I had on the Tiku when I showed it to you last time. I mean, like, this is gorgeous. But this is how much I have done. I'm almost finished. I had uh, two small millen plates that I brought with me about a hundred grams and so I'm almost finished with the first little um the the first little mill end which was about 50 grams so um quite a bit I mean of quite a bit of uh progress I'd probably say I've got like a good five or so inches I should have put a progress keeper in um but I'm also knitting the this on us three or 3.25 millimeter needles so it's slow going so I'm gonna keep working on this for the rest of the day today I have not made any progress on my sunset um sun-kissed striped shawl yet um since I showed it to you excuse me I have the hiccups um so that will be my car knitting on our way home um and yeah that's all I have so out of the six projects that I brought, I finished three. Ultimately, I could have finished four. I could have finished the uh, flip pants today, but 
sewing gives me like a different kind of energy um not necessarily an anxious energy because it's still like stress relieving for me but it's not the same it's like you know that it's not the same meditativeness of knitting so i actually purposefully decided not to sew today um also because i wanted to make sure i spent as much time outside as possible today because it's beautiful it's like 80 degrees and only 40 percent humidity so i've been knitting outside all day um and so yeah so i made a conscious effort not to work on those pants but i'll i am planning on working on those pants this weekend when i get home so they will be finished um in time for the sewing podcast episode which if you're seeing this will go up the week after this um so that's all i have for you all i hope that you enjoyed this little making journal of sorts um making vlog and um i hope that i was able to put in some good footage so far or i'll have some scenery in at the end as well we went on a really nice um walk in the fog early this morning around 6 or 7 a.m um, and I got some really awesome footage um, there as well. So have some beautiful um, landscapes for you all to see. Um, and that is where I will leave you. Um, please do all the things. If you like this video and everything that I produce, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified every single time I post a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.